Sneaky Lewis back one. I'm back one again. Back two, back three, back four, back five. We're on six or seven now. We're back with a micro bit. Okay. I got moved a little around earlier. And so I've done some other videos. And this is the last one I want to do on the BBC micro bit before we've done some more complicated programming with it. Okay. So tonight we're going to do a simple temperature monitor that you can put up in your living room, fridge, in your hallway, even outside in a case, whatever you want to do. As long as you've got the battery pack, of course. Because that always works. Okay. So first you want to go to basic. I'm going to get a forever loop, okay? Because we're going to do it forever and ever and ever. Amen. Okay. Back to basic again. And we'll go show number. Now if I bring this over here, it's going to show a certain number. Yeah. Forever. It's quite simple, isn't it? Go to JavaScript here and you'll quickly see what I mean. So basic forever, basic show number zero. Okay. Back to blocks. Now we're going to go to input. I'm going to drag the temperature sensor out. Now, I'm going to tell you now, the temperature sensor on board the BBC Micro bit, you may get a good one, you may get a bad one. So they're all a bit different. If you want it to be more accurate, you have to buy a separate temperature sensor. But this is just for fun, okay? It's just for fun. So, as you can see, it's scrolling through 21 degrees. If I move this up here, in the emulator here, that's a 31 degrees. We don't want it to do that all the time, do we, okay? So, what we're going to do, okay, go here and set a pause in okay so is it on top or on the bottom what do you think well i'm going to have mine on the bottom okay so it's pausing for 100 microseconds okay or milliseconds whatever you call it that's not enough for us i want it to pause for 10 seconds so that's 10,000 it's 10 1 2 3 okay so now in the emulator as it goes along it does that do you get me do you get me now we want to clear that screen, really, don't we? We really, really do. So what I'm going to do is go here to basic again. And if we go here, we get clear screen. So shall I put that on the top or on the bottom? What do you think? Well, I'm going to put mine on the top. So let's see what works. So 21, 21. We don't really want that there, do we? So what we're going to do, we're going to move that around. So move it around, drag that out, get a number out there. Pause up the top. And then put clear screen at the bottom. So now the emulator is going to run. It's going to wait for 10 seconds. I'll have a bit of drinkage while we're waiting. Hmm. Should be nearly 10 seconds now. And it will scroll through our temperature. One And clear the screen. Now I've got one of these in my living room at the moment. I'm going to put some all around the house. Just to see how they work over an extended period of time. But if you want a simple temperature sensor around your house. And you don't know what to do with your BBC microbit. This is a really, really good project. And if you want to go and buy the extra sensor, which is around about 40 pence or 60 cents, that attaches to these pins here, you'll get a more accurate reading. But it's another little fun project. It's best for little kids. They, they love it because they look at it all night. Just like Sneaky Wife. She can't keep her eyes off it. It's great. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.